the most efficient way to schedule Power Automate desktop flows is to leverage Power Automate Cloud. Let's start by creating a demo flow here in desktop. So I go over to variables and I click input output variables and I'll choose input. Here I will say, I will call this day and I'll also give it the external name day. So the variable name, that is the name that will get shown here in desktop and the external name is the name that will get shown in cloud when we start this desktop flow. So here I'll click save. I'll also create another variable that will be an output variable. I will call this answer. And this is just to create a flow that will test that we have two way communication with cloud. And here I'll click save. So now we have two variables. I'll go over to my actions and find a display input dialog. Here we will give it a title. And here I'll just say, how many cases did you process on? And then we will have our day variable. That was the variable that came in from cloud. So a really, really simple flow, but you could create all sorts of advanced flows and schedule it from Power Automate Cloud. And here you see, see that in variables produced, I'll click that. We will not use the button pressed, so I'll untick that, but we will use the user input. That is the variable where the answers from the user will get stored. So I click this little X and choose answer. That's it. So this is my very simple flow with two variables, an incoming and an outgoing variable. So here I will save it and I call this one cases. Now we need to install the Power Automate machine runtime on the machine where we want this flow to run. Let's say that I got a third party machine or I got a virtual machine, a server, anything. I need to install the machine runtime on that. I can close this flow now, it's not needed. And I can also close it if I want or minimize it. Then I go to the computer where I want to run my desktop flows on from the cloud. And in this case, I have a virtual machine ready. But again, choose a computer, choose anywhere you want to run and install the machine runtime. To do this, you open up a browser. You go to Google like this, and then we will search for install power automate desktop and click enter. Choose the one that says install power automate, not this sponsored link and click here. Scroll a little bit down over here until it says download the power automate installer. I'll click that. This will download the installer as you can see up here. It will take like 10 seconds and then uh, in a few more seconds, we can open up this file and run this executable. This will again install the machine runtime. Click this little open file if you used Edge. Don't worry, this will also take 20 seconds before we get the machine runtime setup prompt. So there's nothing wrong with your setup. While you do this, if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Thank you. So here we have this prompt. I can click next. And what is important here is that we don't want to install Power Automate desktop on this machine. Again, remember, this is my virtual machine. So I only need to install the machine runtime. Since I'm not going to develop any robots here, I have my other machines for that. And let me just recap what we're doing here. So this is my virtual machine that is here. I connect to that using an Azure RDP connection. And this is the one you see here in the background. That is my developer machine. That's the one we have been working on until now. So what I will do here is that I will untick this, install the Power Automate for desktop shortcut. But I will need to install the machine runtime app to connect to the Power Automate cloud portal. This is important, otherwise it won't work. If you're not seeing this option, that means that you run Windows Home, you need to upgrade to Windows Pro at least. It's very easy, you can find cheap codes out there, completely legal, just Google it, and that will let you upgrade from Home to Pro. And then you will see this install the machine runtime. Down here you will say by selecting install, you agree to Microsoft terms and use. Seems fine, and I'll click install. 
This will take again 30 to 60 seconds. So I'll fast forward over this part. And once I come back, we have installed this package. That's it. If we want to use web browsers here, then we will also need to enable extensions, for example, for the Microsoft Edge. Since we're not going to do it now, I will not do it, but remember it if you need to. Then I can say launch app. This will launch the machine runtime app. It will um, probably prompt you to log in if you're not already on this machine, which you probably aren't. And it will also maybe prompt you to select an environment. So if I click this drop down, I will select my only environment, which is the Anasians, at least on this tenant. So having specified that we succeed in five, four, three, two, one second, then you will see a green check mark, which, say, which says that we are now connected to our environment called Anders Jensen. You can see that uh, we connected Power Automate as Anna's Demo VM. This is just the Windows name of this machine. You will have a completely other name. And what we will do now is that I can actually close this machine runtime if I don't need to make any changes. So I can close this. I can also close the browser. Still on this virtual machine, I go down to the Start menu. Then I find a command prompt by typing in CMD. Open it. Here you will type who am I? That will give you the domain and username, which we will use when we are going to schedule it in Power Automate Cloud. So mark it and press Control C. You can also close this. Now I will minimize this virtual machine and move back to my regular one. So we created a desktop flow. We set up the machine runtime. Now we can go to Power Automate Cloud and start scheduling our flow. What you will do here is to click the create and you will find this schedule cloud flow. Click it here. In case you don't see it, you might need to maximize your browser. So I'll click that one here. I will call this one cases. And then we can again start say, when do we want to run this flow? I can cl click this date picker. Let's say by tomorrow, 10 a.m. sounds fine. Then we will repeat every one minute. That might be a little bit too much. Let's just say one time a day. Then I'll click create. Then before we add the step where we want to add our desktop flow, then we will click this uh, recurrence and then you'll click edit. Here um, you'll need to click show advanced options. This is UTC time. So what I want to do is to specify my time zone and that will be, I mean, Copenhagen. So that will be UTC plus one. And again, you can get more advanced with, with this schedule trigger. Now you will find a new step and then you will see run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop. You will pick that. And here it might say that you need to fill in or it says connection not found. Don't worry we will create the connection. So if I click these three dots and I'll say add connection, it will either look like your machine or uh, your machine will look like mine. So we need to fill in the connect, the machine or machine group, the domain and username and password. Pretty straightforward. So the connect, I'll use it directly to machine. The on-premise data gateway is an old and depreciated method. So choose the directly to machine. Machine or machine group, click this drop down. And if you don't see your machine, click refresh here and you will see it as your machine name called Anna's Demo VM. Domain and username, delete what's already in there. And then control V, that was what we pasted from the command prompt on the machine where we installed the machine runtime. The password, and I have it over on my other machine. This is, this is your Windows password. I'll just copy it in. This is your Windows password on the machine where you want to run the desktop flow. So here I'll click create and in a few seconds it will say that our connection succeeded. This is our, my password manager. I'll just close it down. 
So now I can start running it. And if I click these three dots, you can see that our connection uh, has a blue check mark. This is a valid connection. This was an old connection that I used, and I can show you how to remove the connections in a little while. First, we will go up here to desktop flows. And if you don't see your desktop flow, again, you can refresh and pick cases. That was what we called our desktop flow. We can choose either attended or unattended. I want to go with attended because that's what my license grant me to. If you have the unattended license, you can run unattended robots. That means that you don't uh, need to be logged in. Or in fact, you shouldn't be logged in and you can run them at night and everything. That's a little bit more expensive than the default attended. So I'll choose that. Here you will see that once we chose cases, you will see that um, this day input emerges. And that is because we created an input variable in our desktop flow and it was called day. So let us just say something like Friday and this is just to test the flow. You in a normal setup, you will of course have dynamic values for all these and not these hard coded things. Click save. So right now this flow will actually run every day at 10 o'clock and um, we will have to wait to tomorrow to test it. What we can do after we save it is to click test. I'll click manually. I will run my flow. This flow will run. Then I need to go to the machine where this flow will run. And this was my virtual machine. In again, 20, 30 seconds, this flow will run on this machine. We can see that we send down the variable called day that will be Friday in our case, and we can send data back to cloud. Here it is. Can you see that? We used the variable and we um, defined it up in cloud afterwards as Friday. How many cases did you process today? Sorry, boss, I was late. I was lazy. I didn't process any cases. So I'll click OK. Then the flow is done on the computer. It was a very simple flow. I can do this. And now we can see that our flow ran successfully. Click the run a flow build with Power Automate Desktop. And here you can see that the, we get a, the value back answer that equals zero. So we have two way communication. We can now talk with, uh, we can schedule, we can talk and schedule Power Automate Desktop flows on our machine. I want to show you if you go over here in data, click this drop down, click connections. Here you can remove your old connections. Uh, if you want, you can see I have two here. So that one, the the the, um, the latest one was the one that works and this one was an old one. So here I can just say delete and I will delete that and only keep my hand. But beware, you might uh, accidentally delete your current connection and that will require you to set it up again. One other thing is to go to monitor, go to machines, and here you will see your machines. So this one was the one that we just created. Now you should go network and get help from more than 6,000 RPA developers. Your invitation and guide is right up here. We discuss a lot of Power Automate. We get better. We help each other. We lift each other up. Your guide and invitation is here.